wanted to ask you is, uh, what do you think it is about the Metal Gear Solid franchise that has stood the test of time now for over 25 years? I have absolutely no idea. When I did the first edition of the series 26 years ago, I didn't think it would be so, so successful that so many people all over the world would love the series. And also, I couldn't envision myself doing Metal Gear Solid 26 years later. I really don't know. What are the challenges of trying to push forward and raise the bar from game to game for you? Well, uh, the, the games are always depending on, depending on the technology, how far the technology goes. Each new device, each new technology that shows up, uh, more than bringing it it bring us up challenges, it brings us up, uh, opens up new things that are, we are able to do as creators uh, that we can newly develop or implement into a game. So uh, in, in this way, I think that uh, game creating is expensive, it, it keeps getting wider. And therefore, uh, I did never get bored in uh, creating games. So specifically for, for next generation technology, what has that opened up for you creatively with this new game? Uh, definitely, uh, for example, for PS4, I think the biggest asset is that the so is are the social functions, uh, the ability to share, to show your gameplay, to uh, create events where you're competing with your uh, ranking uh, with people all over the world. Uh, it, I think it takes a step uh, a step beyond uh, online gaming. What do you feel Keeper Sutherland brings to the role of Solid Snake in his franchise? So uh, this time for Grand Zeroes, Snake as well as several of the Metal Gear Solid characters go through big changes. That's the reason of the name Ground Zeroes because it's a turning point for several of the characters that appear in this game. So for the, the main game, the character of uh, the personality of Snake will be hugely changed. He won't be joking as much as before. He'll be this darker character who hides his, hides his feelings. Uh, and a lot of the, the things that he will express will be through voice expressions, uh, not necessarily through voices, but visual expressions or making small gestures, noises with, with, with his voice. For this, we needed more than a voice actor, we needed an actor that could express this completely. And that's why we decided to work with Keeper Soul, and, and it has been a great success so far. We're very pleased to, work, to be working with him. So far, uh, well, in Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, Snake is able to made a lot of these expressions, so facial uh, expressions, because uh, Snake so far, uh, especially several years ago, he had to say, it is hot, I feel cold, I'm smiling, I'm, I feel too sad, and now he's able just to say by his facial expressions or to small voices, like, Arr! or grunts or whatnot, and uh, well, Kiefer, uh, we're very pleased, he has been great in this regard to uh, convey what we wanted uh, Snake to convey through his, uh, all these uh, expressions. The Metal Gear franchise has been a very cinematic experience. How do you feel Hollywood has influenced what you do in your games? Well, more than Hollywood, I would say all movies. I often say that 70% of my body is not water, but movies instead. Uh, so I really like movies. I often study the lighting uh, that is used in movies, camera works, etc. But for this game, I really try to focus on making an open world game. So more than going through cinematic experiences, I focus a lot on the freedom the player would have to go uh, anywhere and they want and build any strategy they want. So instead of doing what I've been doing so far, that is conveying a, doing a lot of the storytelling through cutscenes, I focus the storytelling on uh, doing it through uh, the player's freedom on whatever and allowing the player to do whatever they want.